everyone thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new my name is Sally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand so as you can see I've got my sewing stuff set up because today guys I've been so excited to film this video I am going to be showing you guys exactly how I managed to sew this bodysuit and it's relatively simple it's fully reversible and it's just nice and the way it's sewn it actually tends to cinch you in at the waist so it makes you feel good your belly is all tucked in and all that great stuff and to be honest aside from looking fantastic in this bodysuit this is also a great way to start accumulating a bit of money for your business so sewing your own handmade pieces selling them online building up a bit of capital for you to then invest in a manufacturer to start manufacturing for your business this is a great starting point and i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to actually sew your own piece So the very first thing that you're gonna need in order to sew your own bodysuit is a pattern. And basically a pattern is the stencil that you're gonna need to actually cut your fabric and produce your garment. Now it is relatively simple to actually create your own pattern. And the best way I've found as a amateur sewer, seamstress, is using a garment that is in the shape that you want it to be already. So for example, let's take this for instance. This is what I would use to create my pattern for my new bodysuit that I'm going to sew. So basically I would take this and I would trace the shape of the bodysuit. I would start off with the front. I will fold it in half so that the front bit is showing. And then I would get a large piece of paper, which I haven't got right now because I've actually already got this pattern. But you will see that upon tracing and cutting it out, I will get a pattern that looks like this. Now for the back piece, again fold it but with the back bit showing and then just trace around this part now once you've traced your chosen garment you're going to need to add your seam allowance if you want me to do a more in-depth video as to how to actually create your own pattern then please do let me know so next up you're going to need to source the fabric or your bodysuit now i have found that alibaba.com is a great great platform in order to source all kinds of things that you need including fabric so alibaba is a world leading global business business to business trading marketplace where you can literally find anything that you're looking for from hundreds of thousands of different suppliers all over the world. So I'm going to quickly show you how exactly I would find this particular kind of fabric. So in order to find the fabric that I'm looking for, I'm just going to hop onto alibaba.com and I'm going to type in up here what exactly it is that I am looking for. So it's ideal to have like an idea of exactly what kind of fabric you're looking for so that you can easily type it into the platform so i know that the fabric i'm looking for is called scuba crepe fabric so i'm just gonna click search and as you can see there's a whole range of different suppliers that are stocking the fabric that i want now because i am a small business and the great thing about alibaba.com is that it caters to both small businesses and large businesses i am a small business so the key thing that i'm going to be looking for are companies that have got a good minimum order quantity so i've already seen one here where it's saying one meter and that would be quite ideal for me but I am going to keep scrolling and see whether I can find any better prices or anything that's going to better match what I am looking for. So as you can see here, there is this colourful textile thick dyed poly spandex Korean scuba crepe and the minimum order quantity for this is 60 yards, which I feel like for a startup, starting up 60 yards is going to be all right. That's around 60 metres and I believe this takes up around one and a half meters to make to manufacture one of these and um, bodysuits which means that if i was to order 60 yards i'll be able to make 60 of these which i feel like is okay it might be too much but i feel like it's okay so once i've found a provider that i like the look of so let's click on this one for example i can begin to get an idea as to how much it's going to cost me to get this fabric so as you can see for between 60 and 499 yards it's going to cost me three dollars and 51 cents and obviously the more i order the more the cost 
per meter or per yard goes down. So what I'll then do is contact the supplier. The great thing about Alibaba is that it's really, really easy to talk to these suppliers in real time because it kind of has like this like chat sort of thing. And you can also get the app on your phone. So most of the time I will be in bed around 12 a.m. talking to suppliers from my phone. I don't necessarily have to be on my laptop. So I'll simply write a message to the supplier saying that I am looking for 60 yards of your scuba crepe fabric and I can let them know like exactly what color that I'm looking for and I will send the exact same message to multiple different suppliers wait to hear back from them try and get the best deal and then once I'm happy I will go ahead and place my trade assurance order a trade assurance order basically protects you if anything goes wrong to so say if the supplier doesn't ship your product or ships it but it's not in the color that you agreed it to be in or it's not of the quality that you want it to be but you need to make sure that you're very specific when it comes to highlighting these things just so that if you do come across any issues you are able to then state your specifications and why you weren't happy with said product so definitely check out alibaba.com if you are looking for fabrics or anything to be honest you can find fully made t-shirts you can find you can basically find anything packaging all that kind of stuff this is the fabric that i'm going to be using today and it's this gorgeous scuba crepe fabric and it's in this gorgeous like blush pink type color and I've got around five meters of it so first up we actually need to cut our fabric and this is where we use our pattern and basically our pattern acts as a stencil for cutting in order to make our bodysuit seamless reversible we're gonna need two of each of these patterns so what I like to do like I said is I like to fold my patterns in half like this and then I'll fold my fabric in half like this and I'll line up the folds like this and I'm just gonna cut around here using my rotary cutter So next I'm going to show you guys how to do the straps. For the straps I tend to eyeball it because I'm that sort of person and I like to cut out maybe an inch and a quarter size strap. So using my ruler I'm going to just measure out what I feel like is a good length for a strap and I'm just going to use my ruler and just cut across there and I'm going to do two of those. So we now have all our pieces cut out. We should have six pieces in total so we should have two front pieces as you can see here two back pieces as you can see here and two straps we're gonna start off by sewing what I would say is the easiest thing to sew first up which is the straps so one thing we need to understand is what I mean by right side and wrong side so the right side is obviously the side that you want to have showing so this is the right side but if I was to turn this inside out that's what I'd mean by the wrong side so in this case I actually want the smooth side to be showing and then for my wrong side it's gonna be the crepe side to sew our straps we're gonna fold it so that right sides are together and we're gonna pin along here i'm not gonna lie guys my stash of pins are dire i have found three pins so as mentioned we are pinning it so that right sides are together which means that the wrong side should be facing outwards so as you can see i'm just pinning and guys i am not a professional seamstress or a sewer or whatever i've never done this really before in my life before starting this brand so please nothing that i do is ever going to be professional and i feel like that's what the great thing about this is it just shows that you know anyone anyone can do this anyone i'm gonna go ahead and go to my serger and sew this now. So now both of my straps have been sewn together and it's just a case of turning them right side out so that this seam is on the inside but I'm going to show you guys how to do that a little bit later. Now we're going to work on some of the other bits to this so I'm going to start off with the back piece and we're going to put right sides together and we're just gonna pin and sew along these leg holes and across here as well. So we're sewing this leg hole, this leg hole, 
and across here and we're leaving this unsewn. And remember, right sides should be together. And you should have something that looks like this. So at this point, you can add elastic where you've just sewn. I don't because I want it to sit as flat as possible. So that's our back piece done. So I'm gonna take our front piece and again, right sides together. And I'm gonna sew across here, across here, 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 and here. So the bit that should be left open are the side bits here and the bottom bit here similar to the back piece that we just done so this bit has been left open and the side bits here so i'm going to go ahead and sew that and we can move on to the next step So now that you have sewn all the bits together, you should have something that looks like this. So your back piece should look like this with this sewn here and the two leg holes sewn. And your front piece should look something like this with the two leg holes sewn and it's sewn along here, as you can see. And your right sides should be together. So let's take our straps. Basically what we need to do is to turn the straps inside right side out so in order to do that you can get a tube turner which i do have but i can't find or you can get a safety pin and you basically put your safety pin in your strap like this and you will put the safety pin inside like this guide your safety pin through to the other side to then turn your strap your strap to the right side so it is a fiddly task and make sure you don't hurt yourself on the safety pin but we're just feeding the strap through the tunnel once the pin comes out the other side we can pull the whole strap through and there we go and we're going to do the same for the other strap so now that we've turned our straps to the right side i'm going to show you guys how to attach the straps to the bodysuit so we're taking the front piece of our bodysuit and as you can see it's got these unsewn holes here at the top and still with right sides facing together we are going to feed the strap through the gap i don't know why i went through that side we can go through the armhole and we're going to bring it out the top like this and i'm going to do the same for the other side again i don't know why i'm going through that side when it's easier for me to just come through here so our straps are in place and all we need to do is just sew along here sew along here and that's our straps in place and it should look something like this now we can take our front piece and we can flip it over to the right side now and you can start to see your piece actually coming together it's coming together quite nicely and all that's left to do is to attach the front piece to the back piece so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna need to, to seam rip a hole so that we can turn everything back to the correct side. Now I like to seam rip my hole at the top here. I just feel like it's easier when it comes to um, flipping everything back to the right side. So now that my hole is seam ripped, I feel like that is big enough to get the swimsuit back through when it comes to flipping it around to the other side at the end. So this next part is very, very important to follow accurately. So we have already taken our front piece to the right side. So we're gonna take our front piece and we're gonna put it inside our back piece. And what I like to do is I like to put the strap through this hole. And we're gonna take the gusset part 
and we're gonna line up the gussets and we're gonna line up the sides as well. So inside it should feel like relatively flat. Our front piece is now inside our back piece and inside there the right sides will be facing together and all we need to do now is sew along here so four fabrics sew along here four of them as well and sew along here four of them as well So now that that's been sewn together, using the straps that we've already poked through that hole, we're gonna turn the jumps, the bodysuit, sorry, back to the right side. And this is where you will see whether you have made any mistakes when it comes to sewing those last bits together. And it should look something like this. And the last thing you'll need to do is just to either do a top stitch along here or a straight stitch and that is the bodysuit complete. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. So that's the end of this tutorial. I really really hope you've enjoyed this video and you've managed to follow along with this tutorial quite well. I hope I explained it clearly and thoroughly. If you have any questions then be sure to comment them down below and I'll try and clear up anything from this video. And as mentioned before Alibaba.com is a great place to find fabrics for your handmade collection or even if you want to start looking for a manufacturer to start creating these pieces for you. So guys I really really hope again that you've enjoyed this video. It's been clear and I'm really really glad to be back i'm gonna try and be a lot more consistent so be sure to drop a like drop a comment and i will catch you guys in my very next video bye